Today we are doing the Rural Haircut Tutorial. He's an amazing singer and I've been getting requests for his hair for a long, long time. So this is the haircut that I'm going to be doing today. It's kind of the center part curtains haircut, very similar to the Leonardo DiCaprio uh, curtains or center parting haircut that I've done in the past. So it uh, should be pretty easy to follow along. So I will do the haircut and then break it down at the end.
Okay, everyone, so let's break down the rule haircut. So, you know, it looks like it can be somewhat of an easy haircut, but it, believe it or not, it's probably one of the most difficult haircuts to achieve. Um, if you take the approach that I did, so I was very, very technical while cutting this whole thing. And as I was cutting this, I was thinking to myself, I probably could have done like 14 other different types of things to create this, to get this look. But I really wanted to be very, very thorough so, you know, if you are a professional or in beauty school and you're watching this, this is definitely a great haircut to know and to learn how to do. If you are just, you know, a consumer and you, this is something you would wear as a hairstyle, I really, really highly suggest going to a hairstylist, not a barber, but somebody who really understands the art of haircutting, working with longer hair, blending in shapes and lot, doing mostly scissor and comb work. I used no clippers whatsoever. So the first thing I did was establish the neckline down to here, the, the base foundation, and then worked everything up um, diagonally to create kind of that flow because I, what, I, what, what I really wanted to do was start building that weight into this area knowing that it's going to all flow from here into here. When you're working on backs of heads, right, or if you are getting your hair cut, and this goes for whether you're male or female, it's very, very important to let the stylist know where you want that weight to start, right? And it's also their job to tell you if it's gonna work or not. For example, you don't wanna have this, notice how I rounded this out in through here to follow the head shape. You don't wanna have this way down here and then the length way up here. Or you don't wanna have it so high up and this way down here so it's so unbalanced, you know? Uh, but you want to really create a, a really seamless type of flow and a great balance of the haircut. So what I did is I started off right in through here knowing that the haircut was going to live right in this area. So as you can see, it all kind of works in right in through here. And then by bringing the layers back a little bit, um, you know, it even has much of a, a much nicer flow to it as well. But wearing it straight down like this, or even having a little bit messy, you can see that it's the perfect shape right into here. It's not too high, it's not too low, it's right at the round of the head. So then what I did is I worked in and I created my angle um, throughout the side into here. And it is a triangular shape, so we are going shorter to longer. And I did this all by freehand and really just stamped in that length right into here and cut that length to make sure that everything is going in a triangular type shape, meaning that the front is the longest and it's going shorter to longer. Did the same thing on the other side. Again, making sure it's got that really nice flow to it, as you can see in through here. Once I had the length established throughout the back and the sides, it was then time to create the layering. And for the layering, you know, even though this looks like it's a one length haircut where all this is brought down, I did go in and remove some weight by following the head shape and cutting on a triangular shape going shorter to longer. So the front is the longest point. Everybody's so hung up on measurements and I know you all want to know how long is the top or how long is this or that. I don't know. I would say the top probably is a good seven to eight inches. Um, and it really comes down to, you know, your forehead, uh, your head shape, you know, as long as the length in the front comes down to where it does and that's probably if you pull it straight straight down just to the chin right so it's got a lot of length but see when it jumps up right when you when it goes it springs up so you want to make sure you're having that long enough you don't 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 want to cut it too short and the hair just stops right into here right you want to make sure that you have that length uh, in the front and it's better to have it longer than shorter right so then I made sure everything was balanced, everything was even. I blow dried it. A great spray for just this 25 spray. And then also I would even just put in a couple of spritzes of Tidal Wave to give it some natural, you know, light texture. But, you know, if you have the hair type where your hair is pretty straight, if it's on the finer side or even, you know, thicker side, medium density, then this is gonna work really, really great for you. You know, and you'll notice a difference if it's cut properly by removing that weight and going in and adding the layers. Now again, even though you see when I bring it down, it looks like it's all one length, but there's actually a lot of texture and shape going on through here. So that's really the big difference with these types of haircuts. Uh, again, it may look like it's just a grown out 
haircut and you can definitely do that, but um, it really comes down to making sure it's got a flow. No matter how you style it, no matter how you brush it, whatever, it's got that beautiful, really awesome flow to it, which is what Rule's hair is. I mean, he's known for having not only amazing voice, but great hair. The one thing I also want to make note of is I used my vent brush. This is an anti-static vent brush. And I'm telling you right now, I have these available for sale on my website, shop.thesalonguy.com. It's got a rubber grip as well. So it's not, even though this is plastic, this is rubber. So you have a really, really solid grip on it. Unlike a lot of other, you know, cheaper brushes, this is all plastic all the way through and your hand slipping. So a really great rubber grip. When you're using this to blow dry your hair and brush through it, there's no static whatsoever. No frizz, no static. So it's really a great brush. This is definitely something I would suggest if you have hair on the longer side, it's great for combing out knots, uh, applying product, blow drying. And the blow drying technique I used was really kind of like a wrap technique where I was bringing everything down and forward. And what that does is it really starts to create a nice flow to the hair and gives it kind of that look. So if you are wondering how to create that texture, how to create that flow, this is a great uh, technique to do when blow drying it. Then you can brush it back or just put the brush down and use your fingers to style it. I had a lot of fun doing this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you plan on getting this. You know, it's not an undercut whatsoever, even though the hair is a bit longer on top. As you can see, it flows into the sides down and through here. So it's, don't mistake this for being an undercut, right? Even though it kind of may look like it, but there's all hair underneath and through here. It's not shaved or buzzed or anything. Um, you can, I've seen variations of his hair where this is a lot shorter in through here, but you know, it, I wanted to do the one that was a bit on the longer side, which seems to be the most popular, which is this. And I think it came out great. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.